Uh, this is a follow-up to the class that was held at the Tech Summit, and we're just going to talk about some of the apps that were covered in the class, including Dropbox, Cloudon, Cardiby, uh, Chimpadidu, although I spelled that wrong on here, Workflowy, uh, Air Display. Not really going to talk about it, but Air Display is an app that you use if you want to make two, or if you want to have two monitors, or turn your iPad into a second monitor for your computer. Uh, Skitch. Uh, we're going to look at iMovie and Pinnacle and separate videos, and so let's let's get started. So really, the device that makes the iPad really fl uh, go is Dropbox. It works with other apps, and the best way to think of Dropbox is it's just a virtual drive that you can access files to. So, so I can keep photos. Um, yet just the other day, I was talking to a lender, and I just wanted to let them know that. Uh, we have a, you know, Grand Canyon is vetted and also have our refinance rates. So rather than worry about do I have a flyer in my briefcase or not, I can just pull it up and then I can email it to somebody just right on the spot. This works on my iPad and iPhone, so it just makes my life easier. So Dropbox is a great place to store files and it connects with all kinds of different apps for the iPad, which, uh, you know, we'll see in a moment. Uh, all right, so Dropbox kind of makes everything go, and then the, you know we'll see there's a program called Cloudon, which I can access my files in Dropbox, and Cloudon just gives me the ability, you know, if I work in a PC environment to create new Word, Excel, or PowerPoint videos, and this is a free app. Dropbox is free, and again, I can see all of my uh, files, you know, and, and get different files. So let's see. Let's go back to Dropbox. Let's just pull up my document that I had up before. Oop. Grand Canyon. And there's my vetted document. Or, I can make changes here, or, I can create a new document. I just hit the thing at the top that kind of looks like an A next to the cloud, and I can create a new Microsoft Excel, Word, or PowerPoint file. It's, it's really easy to use, it's free, and it connects to your Dropbox account. So taking, Dropbox is a great app, but there is a really awesome application out for real estate agents to manage their transactions online. It's called Cardiby. And Cardiby is kind of take or in, improves where Dropbox, you know, doesn't what what Dropbox doesn't do well. Oop. Let's log in here. So Dropbox is great for file sharing or for file storage, but it's not really great for sharing. So, you know, in a transaction, I just made a little dummy transaction here. We've got a purchase contract. What the program allows me to do is I can create permissions for who can see the document. Uh, maybe I don't, the hand, you know, the handyman, Herman the handyman does not need to see the purchase contract, but everybody else does. Or you know, if you have an appraisal, maybe you don't want the seller or the, or the seller's agent to have a copy of it, you can control that. So it really makes file sharing a lot easier and, and more specific. And also, you know, it does integrate with DocuSign Inc. so you can manage getting signatures in and out of here. And it's also your paper trail. So uh, another app that I use quite frequently is called Skitch. And Skitch is really cool for drawing, or it's basically you can draw on images. So in this case, maybe I want to send a map to somebody. And so I'm just going to type the address in. And 
search for that. So there it is there. And if I want, now I can take a, I can call or take a snapshot of it. It's going to pull it into Sketch, where I can now start to draw on it, and you know I can type things on it. And just I can anyway. So it just adds a nice touch. I can do that with pictures. Uh, you know I can email it. Put you know save it to my camera roll. So you know it's a pretty cool application. Maybe uh, I saw something online. Or let's just we'll discard that. Look for something else. Capture maybe something from the web. I'm gonna click snap. It's going to pull it in again. I can draw. And anyway, so I think just for certain things you're doing with clients or just your friends, you know, can add a nice touch to things. So, okay, let's see what else. Uh, then there's Workflowy. And Workflowy is a really cool app for just keeping my thoughts organized. So, you know, I can just come in and you know, I have my life broken down into different categories. So, you know, like I can make notes about the Tech Summit, uh, call people that were in my classes. So now I don't have to think about it. It's it's out of my mind and it's on something that I can I can look, I can manage, and I don't have to worry about forgetting things. So it's just a great way to track things to do, your to-do list. And it also has a, has a an app available for the iPhone. Really, really powerful. So uh, Chimpadidu. So let's say you're doing an open house and you want to collect people's names and addresses. Well, sign up sheet is good, but what if you just handed them an iPad and they just filled out the form and it went into, you know, a list that you're a list that you're creating for, you know, collecting certain types of clients. You can break break it down, you know, however you want. So that's just uh, it's free, and it's, it works with Mailchimp, which is a free autoresponder. So again, just a real nice application. And that's it for now. So stay tuned for more tips and tutorials from Dave Mason at Grand Canyon title and nuvidia.com thanks